Alright, you guys know the plan. Let's get started. Before we get into this story though, let me tell you about today's sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game that has ever been made. You can play with over 2000 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships, all in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Each one of these vehicles is incredibly detailed and modelled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience. Also, for each of these vehicles comes an in-depth customization system, allowing you to apply hundreds of camouflages and historical markings and 3D decorators anywhere on your machines, such as bushes and equipment. One of my personal favourite aspects about War Thunder is the fact that you don't need any extra piloting hardware, simply load up the game and fly in the aircraft using nothing more than your mouse and keyboard, thanks to the game's intuitive mouse aim mode. Play War Thunder now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 or the previous console generations and use my link in the description to register yourself for a large, free bonus pack which includes access to premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and more. <sighs> okay. We're back in Day Z. Our story starts off on the coast, and if I was going to achieve my goal of becoming a bank robber, then I needed some gear to sell at the trader to get all the things I needed for a base. And so I headed to the northeast airfield, where I got a little lucky. Um, I think that's a heli crash up there. Guess we'll have to go check that out. Please be some loot. Oh, it looks like there is. What's this? <gasps> a honey badger. Pretty sure this thing's suppressed, so I can shoot. Okay, nice. Um, punched card. What is that for? Oh, here we go. Big bag. Nice. Exactly what we needed. Oh, what's this? AWM. <gasps> Nice. All this gear would be valuable at the trader, and so I started heading there, but in the nearby town, I found something that would save me a lot of cash. Code lock. Dude. Let's go. Okay, we're at Altar Trader. Okay, let's see what we can sell here, what we can buy. Um, See if we can get the stuff for a base. At the traders I started selling everything from the spare weapons to the ammo and slowly but surely built up some money which I could combine with the starter cash that was in my ATM to buy most of the necessary items I would need to start a base. I just had no idea where I was going to build yet. I then noticed another player in the trader at this point and I had some questions about the punch card I had found earlier. Yo. Yo, bro. Yo, do you know what the punch card does? The punch card? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need it for... It's a bunker on uh, VMC Hill. You need it to get... Uh, to en uh, enter the bunker. But you will have to... Before you go down, you need the uh, night vision and you will have the level 3 key card because there is a vault down there with the, the best loot in. If you don't have the level 3 keycard, you won't access the best loot. Okay, cool. Uh, where do you get the keycard from? Uh, I think you will get it from like... Uh, King of the Hill events or... Uh, stuff like that, I think. Okay. Or killing people, I guess. Okay. I'm pretty new. I just started this wipe on this service. I'm not sure exactly where you oh, I just started it today, it. bro. I've literally just got on for the first time. Did you? Yeah, yeah. This was RMA, and he would be a very important character in this story. After talking for a while and learning that RMA was running solo 80% of the time, I decided to ask if he wanted to help me out. Do you wanna help me get started real quick? I just want, I'm just trying to um, get everything yeah, sure. put together. Fine. 
Okay, let me just buy a few things and then um, I'll come yeah, yeah, yeah. over, okay? Yeah, sure, I started buying as many of the base building supplies as I could and tried not to keep RMA waiting around for too long. And after getting the base supplies I needed, I restocked an ammo before letting RMA know I was ready to go. Alright, I've bought everything I need, um, I think. So, yeah. if you wanna head out, we can. Okay, we can go to base. Let's go. This was me trusting a random person with my entire progress so far, but I would soon learn he was far more trustworthy than anyone I had ever met in DayZ. Is this your base? Yep. This is huge. In fact, RMA was so trusting that he let me inside his entire base. He let me store my items inside a box to keep them safe in case I died, before letting me out to go scout for my own base location. Okay, we've been very lucky to find RMA. Um, he's taken us in, we've stored some gear away, but for now, we need to go and find our own base spot because we can't be living in his basement forever. Um, now, the thing is, we're on a pretty interesting part of the map. We're near Trader, we're near Heli Trader, we're near Black Market and stuff, so... I'm thinking if we find somewhere hidden away inside these trees, um, then we could base around this area. Now knowing a general area where I wanted to build, I set out from RMA's base. I just didn't have to go very far. Oh, this could be perfect. It's near RMA and his team, so we would have backup if we ever got raided. We can sort of over, oh, we can overlook Moschino. <gasps> this is the spot. It has to be. Having the perfect base location now meant I had some hard work ahead of me. And so I headed back to RMA's base to get my stuff. Yo, RMA, are you in there? Still? Yo, I think I found a base spot that I want to live in. It's really close to you guys. I just need, um, I'm going to need some help. Uh, cutting down trees and stuff, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. You, okay. Well, whenever I said I had some hard work ahead of me, I really meant we, as RMA and his teammate who had briefly logged on, were going to help me get my foundation started. So after grabbing my stuff and kindly being donated some storage and a sleeping bag by RMA, I took them over to the base spot and got started on the thieves den. Um, yeah, please. Okay, so we press F on this. We want a foundation. Kit. We go with something like this. Hey. Okay guys, the base is, uh, is done for now, it's looking good. Yeah, nice. Well, with the thieves' den now set in stone, I wanted to know the process of robbing ATMs. Uh, where's the closest ATM? Uh, Selenogorsk, military, uh, in the, the PD, Selenogorsk, I would say it's the closest. Okay, I'm gonna go rob but, that, uh, I think. Good luck, Thanks bro. for your help, boys. Good luck. I'll fun. reach out if I need you. Yeah, yeah do so. I might need you for some Any stuff. Alright. Bye -bye, bro. You see, I would need a lot of money in order to plan the perfect heist on the main bank. And so I had the idea of building up my cash by robbing the ATMs that were dotted around the map. So I headed to Zelenogorsk to see how the process oh, worked. We can access our bank, but if we hold F, we can rob it. Interesting. And it tells us how far we can go as well, which is nice. Okay, we just got to hold this for 15 minutes. For the next 15 minutes, I would be stuck inside this PD. Meaning if anyone came, they knew where I had to be. Oh my god, there's people nearby. I think I just got to play the long game here. I haven't made a noise, but I think they're going to push me. Oh, there's another one outside, I think.
Five seconds, please. I got it. 92k, are you kidding? Now that I had the money, I just had to wait for the perfect moment to escape. Now's my time. He's on the ladder above me. I'm fucking out of here. I was out, but instead of running for the hills, I stashed my gear and went hunting for the guy that came to kill me. And that was definitely not inside the PD. He's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're out here. We just need to get the stash and go. This risk had paid off massively, and so after grabbing the stash, I returned to base. Oh my god, yes! Oh! Yes! Our first bank robbery, well it wasn't a bank, it was an ATM, but our first robbery went successful. These ATM robberies were only the stepping stone to the main bank, and if they were pulling in this much cash, I dared to know how much the bank would give us. Before I went any further though, I decided to upgrade the base to stop myself being raided by 1C4. There. Nice. Perfect. The extension of the base included the first phase of our secret planning room, which of course would be used to go over the perfect plan for our future heist. But you'll see how that works later on. Okay, looking good. Um, we just gotta put our airlock on. As well as the secret planning room, I would add on an airlock to have a second door. So we were no longer a one door raid and hopefully keep away any offline raiders when I finally decided to get off. Looking good. Oh yeah. Okay. This is sick. <laughs> um, so this is our way up. So we'll come up this rock. And that way, any raiders, they have to go to the second floor to get to the first floor. Which is kind of nice. Day 2 was important, I would be planning on getting everything we needed for this main heist and so I would need a team. Hello! Hi! A team of 3 was what I found to be sufficient enough to do this heist, but we needed top tier gear in order to accomplish our goal and so we set out for an airdrop but we were too late before heading over to an active king of the hill. I see him, he's in front of me, he's running two, two guys, barracks, one gillied. He, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I missed. I missed right in front of me, right in front of me. The... Yeah. No eyes. Right in front of us here, Zodic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, on, the right, on the right, on the right. On the right, on the right. I'm flanking. Yeah, that is a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to move left. Moving left? Moving left. Yeah. Moving left there, behind construction, behind construction. Oh, in, in construction? Yeah, yeah. One hit. What floor? What floor? Uh, top floor, I'm tapped. Sick. Server restart five. One hate. dead, one dead, one dead. Could you, I'm pushing up, I'm gonna push him. Fuck the floor. One in stairwell, last guy's in stairwell. What's, what floor do you know? Uh, same, same floor, same floor is it? Yeah, yeah. I'm pushing in if you wanna wait. Yeah. Is that you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm dead, he's really low, really low. He's pushed up. Don't know where he's at. I think he might want top floor. He's bandaging and shit. Raw smashing, 
I got an MP40 in the Type 21, I'm just dead. This was one gear set sorted for my team, but before I could leave, the server restarted. And when I re-entered the server, it had turned to night. I tried to use this to my advantage to get away, but they were looking for me. Wasn't B, was it? He sees me. I need to run. I'm getting shot at. Killed one. I killed him! SRS. I'm so geared. Another MBS heavy, right? We got everything we need. He had an M60 as well. What the hell? Well, right, I'm out of here. After gathering all I could, I headed over to the trader with this high tier gear. We were one step closer to conducting bank robberies, but we still needed some more things in order to get that done. Thankfully, the guys we had killed must have got some money from the King of the Hill, and mixed with what Zodek had sold, I purchased some nails so we could finish the secret planning room in our base. That'll be enough to finish the base, I think. Think. Just in case, I'll get another box. Now this secret room we had planned inside our base of course had to have a hidden entrance, and the location of that would be behind some objects inside what readers would think was the main loot room. Just like that. You see in Daisy, some items allow you to have the ability to walk right through them. And using this, I planned on making the hidden entrance. It would take me a while to find the right item, but now that you have the idea, at least you know how it will work. After doing all this building, we ran out of nails. Again, I know. But in the meantime, I decided to take the team out and show them how the ATM robbery system works. Okay, so you walk up to it and you hold F, right? So it's being robbed now. And we have to stay within 15 meters. So just, Jesus um... Christ. I don't know if you guys want to spread out on the outside, and I'll stay on the inside. Okay, you guys ready to go out here? 10 seconds. Okay, we got it. Oh my Ooh, god. Let's get out of here, bro. Another 97-ish K. Let's go. go. Okay, money is starting to look good in here. Our money stash was coming along faster than expected. And so I decided that if we are to rob the main bank, we should probably get a car. If we robbed enough ATMs, this would surely be possible. So, as a team, we ventured out on search for more ATMs, stopping by Vibor to see how much a car would cost us. And that turned out to be quite a lot, so we needed to rob as many ATMs as we could find. Hundred and four! Nice! Oh, ATMs here! After a couple hours, we had robbed three ATMs, each with a high-valued return, and people were catching on to what we were doing. There's a guy. What? Dead. Oh my god. Another one. See it, mate. There, there, there. He's running up the hill. Might have hit him. Uh, I'm doing chase. See him again if you see him, mate. I killed him, killed him. Oh my god. This guy had another MT40. Two boxes of nails. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit. Yeah, I'm yeah. the worst. That was worst way. He's on you now. 
I'm dead. What Maybe did he just use on me? Head with three, three, like. job, Tommy, we had more than enough money for a car by the time we were done, and also managed to get a bunch of other valuables. At this rate, with the perfect plan, we would soon be robbing our first bank. The following day, I logged in alone and found we were not raided. Well, surprisingly, we're not raided. As I was currently alone, I decided to head out and resupply the base for the big day ahead. My first stop was the trader, and it was here that I would get some essentials for our survival, as well as some decorative items to flesh out the base a little. But most importantly, I would get some recycle bins, and it was these I would use to hide the secret planning room. As you can see, we could crawl right through them, and it was perfect. After ticking this off the list, I headed out in search of some more high-end gear and storage. Rifle by, oh, MBS Heavy, that's good. Another MBS Heavy. Storage. What is it, please? Double gun rack. Okay, that's actually decent. Okay. Into the secret room. So far, the start to the day had been massively productive, and I wouldn't stop here. Whilst I waited on the team to get on, I decided to finish off the base, and turn it into something a little more defendable. Building the extension onto the base was actually taking a hell of a lot longer than I hoped. But that was fine, as I knew the team would be soon getting on, and we could start our very first heist. After about an hour of building, the base was finally fully complete, and I took the extra time I had to go to the tier 2 keycard we had got from the people we killed the previous day. Oh my god, it's got a big alarm. Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, red keycard, red keycard! That's exactly what I needed. Let's get out of here. This red key card was absolutely huge, as it would give us access to the best tiered loot room on the server. But that would have to wait, as when I got home, my team was waiting for me. Alright guys, this is what we've been waiting for. So, here's the plan. We're gonna leave this base with some cash and head straight over to Vibor where we're going to buy a car from the auto trader before heading off and going straight to the bank. No detours. When we reach the bank, we're going to stash the car away where no one can see it. And when we breach the bank, we will have to wait 45 minutes before grabbing as much gold as we can before making our grand escape. Simple, right? So it was heist time. And now that we all knew the plan, we headed over to Vibor to buy the car. Black Olga. Alright, let's go. You look yellow. Why don't you need to direct me to the bank? After getting our hands on the getaway vehicle, we headed straight to the bank like planned, in order to find somewhere to stash this car away. Alright, there she is, boys. When we did reach the bank, we opted for the fire station around the back, as this would give us quick access to a getaway. Start level 3 bank robbery, here we go. Oh my god. I'll sit in here and hold the bank because it's close to the ATM for me. So. Now all we had to do was wait for the 45 minutes to count down. But people would come looking. Guy. There a guy on the left. South. You know I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. He's on us. Do you want me to push out? Wait, wait, come. On my side. door. 
I need you. Right side, right side. Good shit, good shit. I need comms, sorry. Where's next? I don't know, I don't know. Is that you moving? Yeah, yeah. We managed to keep the area locked down. And when we reached our final 15 minutes, everything went quiet again. All the way until the end of our heist. Oh, oh in the tree line southwest, south. I see him, eyes on. Here again. Two of them. Alright. One there. killed one, yep, yeah, nice. I shot There's at that one guy as well. Right. We just needed to hold this down until that timer ended and our gold would be ready to collect. We got the right. bank. Bank. I'm going to collect the ATM cash. Yeah, 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 you should. You should. Oh, this, I have to hold it. Right, I'm coming to, I'm coming to cover you. I've got it, I've oh. got it, I think. Oh my god, the gold bars. Now that we had all the gold, we just needed to make our escape. But we couldn't do that if the area wasn't clear. It would be too risky. He's dead, 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 dead. Good stuff, Pablo. The bank area was easy enough to clear out, but it was that sniper on the hill that we were worried about. So Tommy took one for the team and distracted him. Okay, so I'm dead after putting 50 bullets into someone. I've seen him. Whilst me and Zodek got away with the gold. I'm starting it. Go. Let's get out of here, Zodek. Go, 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 go. Right. We've done it. The first bank robbery. The first heist was a massive success. The plan was pretty well executed, and that meant we could safely return to base with a few battle scars. The gold inside the base was a kind reminder of our hard work, and our path to getting rich was well underway. Good night, my friend. Good night, buddy. Successful day. Two. Good night. The following morning, I had the idea of doing the red key card I found the day before, but I decided to bring along an old friend of ours. Yo. Hello. All right. Um, right, the bunker is in. VMC, so we need to head over there. You haven't done this bunker before, right? No, never. Okay. Cool. I've never been uh, lucky enough to get a fucking level 3 car, bro. Okay, the bunker. Okay. Okay, so we do the punch card. Oh, it teleports you. Interesting. Oh, nice. Okay. Right, now we got to look for the bunker, but we need to be fast. Okay, so there should be a red key card room, which I'm guessing is going to be at the very bottom. Okay, there's a... We're at the bottom, I think. Oh, no, it goes down more. Oh no, what? This, look, look, look. Oh, oh there it is. Oh my god, it's freaking huge. Holy shit, that was... Yeah, that was a big fucking vault, man. Oh my. Oh, this better be good. Ooh, okay. AX50. AX50 is cool. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Oh, this is gonna make some cool noises. Watch how it's gonna open on you. That's cool. It's really cool. That's sweet. Alright. That's that done. Nice. Yeah, that was nice. Hey, okay. let's get out of here. The bunker gave us some really good gear, and on our way home, we would have the chance to put it to use at a King of the Hill event. There is a few bases in this town, so there could be someone. We could just wait until the captain. If you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. It might be worth moving, like, to the grandma attic there. 
There we go. Oh shit, I was in the zone. Now he knows. Uh, yo, bro, I was in the zone, I didn't know, so he's gonna know we're here. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna flank around and see if I can see him. Shit! Shooting at my boy! BSSK, PKM. Nice. Oh my god, he was geared. And a lynx? Yo, he's super geared. Alright, let's go. Perfect. Wait, let's go out here before he respawns. This is what the guy had. Back at base, me and RMA looked at what we managed to get from our little adventure before he had to go offline for a while. I then opted to do a quick sell run with a bunch of the valuables that were collecting dust inside our base and add the value to the wealth we already had. I would first stop at the drug trader up north to sell the brick that Tommy had got off the player he killed at the ATM in Pistoshka. 65k? Let's go! Before getting back into my car and heading over to the normal trader near the base. And with a decent amount of gold and money, I returned to base. Which is when I was told my team wouldn't be able to get on today. So I had the bright idea of trying a bank job, but as a solo. Started it. <laughs> oh my god. This time around, however, no one came for some reason. And to be honest, I'm kinda glad they didn't, as I managed to get away with a bunch of free gold. Oh my god, so much gold. Let's get out of here. God, we're building up so much gold. Okay, so that's an R 300k checked off the list. That brings us up to 1 mil, I believe. I think this is the riches I was after. Over 1 million in gold, and most of it from bank and ATM robberies. I would call this a mission well completed. But I still didn't have that sense of accomplishment, so I asked RMA to log in one last time. My time on the server has come to an end, and uh, because you helped me out on the first day on the server, I think it's only right that I give everything I own to you. For real? Um, yeah, in here, I believe you can see all the gold we got. So there's a there's a, just over a mil in there, <laughs> and there's a bunch of high tier guns, loads of the best armor. So I think you'll have some fun. Yeah, that's sweet. Anyway, my time has come. Hey, Thank you a lot, bro. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>